was just here, you know, uh, entering the elevator, and uh, I met just for the very brief, you know, write down, so this is from the third floor to the ground floor, a very famous Hollywood actor, very famous. <laughs> I recognized him, I smiled, he looked at me, he also recognized me. And uh, he asked, uh, a bit sadly, what have you done? So, look, I lost the match. Uh, it happens. But I'm going to take this stupid machine in the next, in the rematch. He said, no, you will not. I said, what? I'm going to win the rematch. He said, no, they'll not let you play anymore. Consider this the day that uh, Deep Blue beat Kasparov. IBM stock rose, I think, 15%. IBM certainly benefited dramatically. People say that they benefited to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars in PR. And the internet coverage was so gigantic that the entire internet sort of went into its knees, couldn't take the load. So it was a gigantic success. I think it was much higher the value to IBM, because IBM, until that moment, when it played against Kasparov in New York, was a sort of a company that supplies equipment to offices. And Microsoft and others were, and Intel were cutting edge technology. And suddenly, this changed. People started to say, IBM's doing neat stuff, cool stuff. And then finally, they dismantled the machine folded their tent and went about their merry way with uh, billions of dollars of extra value in the company and boasting rights that they beat the greatest chess player of all time. Deep Blue was crated up and sent back to Poughkeepsie today, leaving us to ponder this deep thought. Why play if you can't party when it's over? Then what happened? They shut down the computer. No more research. That's it. It's like landing on the moon and not exploring, coming back without anything, and saying, no, we just wanted to be there. And no, we're not going there again. We're not going to experiment with this. That's it. Cinco anos depois. Gary is an elephant, he's not going to forget what happened in 1997, lost to Deep Blue. About three and a half years after this disaster against Deep Blue in New York, Gary had a second disaster, which was uh, his match against Kravnik. It was a defense for the World Championship. Bled in Slovenia. I want to take the title back. And I uh, hope that still a machine match, and I want to be part of this as as long as I can. And I want to do better than in '97 against Deep Blue. Olimpiada de Xadrez, novembro de 2002. It's a comeback is also a very powerful performance. So to be able to come back at age 40 when you're much older and that's your opposition, to play great chess and just to be still leader of the modern, modern chess, that's quite an accomplishment.
immense competition from Russia, Jared Kapai. It's not about winning a, a title that I didn't have. I had all of them. In fact, I won everything probably already, but uh, there are plenty of opportunities to come back. I think it's about uh, re-establishing my own authority and, uh, in chess and uh, keeping myself going, because as long as I'm playing and playing well, I, I feel good. There are plenty of opportunities to come back. Nova York, December of 2002. Того, чтобы матч прекращался. Вы прекрасно знали мою точку.